Money. The objective of building a business in games is to make money. There are many variables that go into how well a game did, and it would be best for you to understand my circumstances before just jumping into the section with money. I'll be brief, and then I'll share the lessons learned from the project after the big reveal that was more than I expected, but still not a swimming pool of gold coins. Hello Turtles, I'm Tim Bodet, and I released Accelerate on Steam for Easter 2021. In this time trial racing game, you drive fast to deliver eggs while avoiding devious obstacles to get in your way. Take jumps, loops, and go off-roading as fast as you can, but don't drop an egg. History of the game The concept of Accelerate came from the Ludum Dare 46 game jam, where the theme was keep it alive, and I worked solo for 48 hours. This was the first time I was using Unity for the jam, as I was exploring the toolset in April 2020. I usually build games using a custom engine, as I enjoy some benefits it provides, but I was looking for ideas to prove my own toolset and workflow. Upon completing the jam, the page filled with lots of exciting comments, and when Ludum Dare ratings closed, I found Accelerate ranked in the top 1% for fun. Initially that April, I was planning to make an asset pack or toolkit to release on the asset store for Unity. After the game did so well in the game jam, I pivoted into releasing a support me version on itch.io. A support me project is similar to early access, except there are no plans to continue development. The project is released as is, for a fair price, and only shared with the internal community as a way for them to support the developer. After pivoting to focus on the support me version of Accelerate, I spent three weeks adding additional content and polish to the game. This version included far better music, more levels, and achievements. The idea to continue development and release my first product originated in October 2020 as my community was enjoying the game a lot. It was slated for an Easter release as a game about eggs would likely do well with the timing. Development did not begin again until February 2021. Setting Expectations Before I get to sharing the finances of my project, it is important to paint a picture of where I am in my adventure. Results depend on a variety of factors and other developers should not expect to go from nothing to pools of gold in mere months. Accelerate was not the first game I worked on. I pursued a bachelor degree in game design development from Full Sail University before working in the game industry for more than five years. I helped create games like Rock Band 3, Darkest of Days, Monster High, and many more before getting into software for stability. That stability allowed me to work on my own games on the side and my adventure began about three years before Accelerate's final push for the Easter release. In my first video, I stated my expectations for Accelerate was 200 sales and $1,000. I figured with the momentum of my community and expanding a bit into the player ecosystem of Steam that this should be a reasonable target. That said, internally, I was not expecting to meet that and felt the 100 sales that I had on itch.io would be difficult enough to aim for. At the time of release, I had been live streaming on Twitch for three years to an audience of about 40 dedicated viewers. YouTube had just crossed 1,000 subscribers, Twitter was approaching 1,000 followers, and my Discord community had just under 500 users at the time of release. All about the money. If you jumped here, I highly recommend watching the previous bit first, which shares my community size and skill level to paint the full picture. But Accelerate has sold 706 copies for a gross revenue of $3,870 in the first two weeks after release. This is the total gross amount. Refunds are a part of a business, and most videos discussing release revenue seem to skip this. Some players may feel the game was not for them, or perhaps bought it accidentally, or otherwise refunded the game. After refunds, chargebacks, sales tax, and before any other cuts, the game had made $3,200 in the first two weeks. Fast forward to today, a little over six months after release, and I just sold my 1,000th copy of the game. That has a gross revenue of $5,600, and the amount that hit my account, still before income tax is applied, is $3,890. That is a five times better than my expectations for the project, though it does not cover the cost of development. I am overlooking the cost of education and life experiences that got me where I was able to create Accelerate. The cost of the game went over the $10,000 budget by a fair bit, but what game doesn't? The itch.io version took 160 hours of effort for a time cost of $2,600 and had a small expense of $50 for the music. Upon continuing the project for Steam, an additional 475 hours was spent building new features 
and adding extra content. The total time cost inflated to $10,280. The expenses also inflated as I hired extra help for level design, extra code support, modeling, sound effects, key art, trailer, and marketing help. This all cost much more than $1,200, and I can't share all the details due to signed contracts or to be respectful of others. It is also important to realize that most of the help was paid at friend rates, which are far less than competitive rates. Check out this video to learn how hiring contractors can help your business. What went well? Pretty much everything went well. Accelerate started as a game jam with no intention of turning into a product. The decision to pivot and work on it further was the first of many great choices that brought Accelerate to life. This occurred because the game ranked in the top 1% of all compo entries in Ludumdare 46. The prototype was extended and released on itch.io where good feedback continued and pushed me to make the game into my first product. It was also a good idea to wait before diving into the production for the Steam release. The game contains lots of eggs and timing launch for Easter would likely help increase player interest. The business decisions were made in October 2020, but no efforts were expended until February 2021. This reduced the production cost significantly as there were few hours remaining until Easter. The tight deadline also kept the perfection monster contained. When building games as a business, you don't have forever to tweak and modify each detail until it's perfect. This increases the cost of the project significantly and the value add is quite small. You should put love and care into your products, but spend your time wisely rather than on the smallest details. The next project can be better and the one after that can be even more superior. So don't sink the ship trying to perfect your first game. The tight schedule also pushed me into hiring extra hands to help make the game better. This let me find developers with skills to fill the gaps where I was weak. More things were finished in less time with better quality and added more entertainment value. The car, egg, and bowl unlocks and customizations would not have been possible without the help of the entire team. In the last few days of January, I had an idea to run a survey to figure out how players felt about the game. This had an advantage of collecting emails that I could use to notify when the game was released and or for future products. In less than 48 hours, with the help of my community, I launched a landing page, set up a mailing list, and prepared content for the email campaign. This was a game changer and highlighted the areas to focus efforts on to provide the most value to players. Most of the project went well, but one highlight was time for marketing the game. This seems like a no-brainer, but the number of games released with little to no marketing efforts is surprisingly high. Heck, my previous releases on itch.io had no marketing efforts either, but were viewed differently. For the Accelerate push to Steam, I plan to dedicate the month of February for development and use the month of March for marketing for a total production of three months. What could have been better? While scheduling was good for reducing time cost and keeping the perfection monster locked away, it did push me into a corner where I crunched a lot harder than desired. For several weeks, I was working 16 hours or more each day, including work work. In the future, I think it would be wise to start earlier and put a limit on the maximum number of hours to spend on the project. I foresee a challenge in respecting the maximum limit when there are more hours to exist in a day, but it would be the only way to keep time costs low without crunching day to day. Despite schedule and time crunch keeping costs lower than they could have been, the project still overshot the $10,000 budget. This occurred for multiple reasons, including some of the hired help, but mostly I put in more hours than expected because of the crunch time. For several years, I averaged 20 to 30 hours working each week in my adventure alongside the full-time job. In planning, I used that figure to estimate the available time and the cost of it. In February and March, I averaged more than 55 hours a week. That is a big difference. The final thing that really didn't go my way for the project was using Unity's input system. I mean, really, that thing is trucking rough. I know, I know. There's a new input system now. But when it, the issue surfaced, Accelerate was 97% complete and the development freeze only a day away. I played with the idea of changing to the new input system or finding another one, but didn't realize the problems would continue and continue. I slipped on the deadline slightly due to these issues, but I did eventually solve them with some real ugly workarounds. This is not the type of issue I would expect when using an engine like Unity, and honestly, writing it myself would have been less painful. While there are things to learn from the experience of developing Accelerate, I am proud of how everything turned out. 
The decision to pivot last April and to revisit to launch on Steam has pushed my adventure forward and given me a product to offer players. 1,000 copies sold is quite amazing and I look forward to my future product releases. I stream my business of creating racing games daily on twitch.tv slash timbodet, so go follow now to learn more about game development tips and techniques and experience the indie dev lifestyle. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with other developers, and leave any questions in the comments below. Until later, Turtles, have a good one.